Welcome to this video which will show you how to fit a Mega Squirt V8 Limited trigger wheel to a standard Rover V8 non-serpentine V-belt pulley. The tools you'll need are big rattle gun, air blower, a 13mm spanner and a 13mm socket and a half inch spanner and a half inch socket and weirdly a 15mm spanner possibly must be open end and every Land Rover's friend a nice hammer. First thing to do is to actually mark on the vehicle before you take the pulley off top dead centre. Put the engine to top dead centre, find the top dead centre mark on the pulley, here it is, and mark it with either Tipex or as I have here a black marker pen. Similarly if you fitted one of our VR brackets for the sensor mark where that fits against the back of the pulley. So that is where sitting on the vehicle the VR sensor is pointing to. The next thing you need to do is take it off the vehicle. It is a left hand thread and it will be very tight and it will take some getting off. Once you've got it on the bench the next thing to do are to strip out the six bolts on the inside and the six nuts on the back. Now on the six nuts in the back two of these as you can see are captive. These here sometimes they're welded and sometimes they're not but with your trusty rattle gun this should come apart fairly easily. Bear in mind these can be a rusted fit so they can take some shifting. This now gives you six bolts which are no longer used as they won't be long enough. Turn it upside down and remove the saucer shaped plate. This sometimes has a nasty little duff shield on it which can be removed and thrown away as well. You don't need either. However, what you have got round here is many years worth of debris. It is worth cleaning this off with a wire brush just in case the trigger wheel doesn't fit. This one isn't too bad. There is also a little dowel poking up. This dowel actually locates all of the pulleys in the correct position. So whilst you don't want to lose it, you certainly don't want it poking up. Make sure it's now flush with the bottom. With the V8 Mega Squirt kit from us, you get six longer bolts, six new nylock washers, a locking washer, a spacer and a trigger wheel. First thing to do here is having cleaned it all off and knocked the tab down is to put it so that the VR sensor mark is nine o'clock to your body facing it. Next is to actually put the spacer ring on which you will find is a very tight fit indeed. The reason for this is simple. The tighter the fit the less likely it is to have any run out. You then need to put on the trigger wheel. This is where people get into a bit of a muddle. Where the VR sensor is there, start off by lining up the gap. The gap is now in the centre of the missing tooth. You want to actually rotate the trigger wheel so that the VR mark hits and is on the fifth tooth. One, two, three, four, five. Fifth tooth after the VR sensor. Push down and that locks it into place. The locking ring goes on top and you will see now that the bolts can be put through and tightened back up again. If at any time you find that your bolts don't line up because the bolt hole is where one of the, say, the slots are here, turn the trigger wheel over and try again. These slots are machined out of sync with the teeth so you actually get two goes at lining it up. The locking tab on the back is there to actually help make sure that the nuts don't collapse into the tooth. We'll now put it together. I find the best way is to put all six bolts in so they're completely through and then carefully turning it over put the nylocks loosely on the back. If you try and do one bolt and tighten it up you'll find that the tolerances are so fine you won't get all the other bolts in. So it's pretty essential that you go bit by bit working your way round. Now the trigger wheel can actually slide here on the sliders that it's got so before you tighten it all up go back to your mark go back here and check one two three four five and as you can see there is a fair bit of variance but we are smack on it all that then remains is to tighten the bolts up and there you have it all six bolts tightened up all new lock nuts there's your VR sensor mark that's where the VR sensor would sit and you're on the fifth tooth past the top dead center bolts all tidied up you don't need to lock tight it it's worth cleaning up 
this on a wire brush this is where your seal sits and frankly while you're at it put a new seal in your timing case pop it back in job done